we often joke that uh, the, the California legislature has served as the economic development arm uh, for states like Oregon and, and Nevada, Texas, New Mexico, because of the policies that, uh, that have been put in place, have really done nothing but, uh, but drive business uh, you know, out, out of the state. Um, and so, you know, unless we make some changes in, in how we budget and our priorities, um, you know, and how we tax Californians, um, you know, we have a real problem. I mean, I mean yes, we have this huge economy, uh, but we spend, you know, significantly more than, than we take in. Uh, you know, our state budget right now is uh, about 82, 83 billion dollars, and yet our deficit is, you know, is 20 billion, uh, you know, of that. I mean, it's a huge, so we're, you know, we have 20 billion dollars of commitments, you know, outside of what we're taking in, and, and, and much of that uh, it goes to uh, pension. Uh, that is a big. Uh, our, our unfunded pension liability is is very high. What we're what we're owing. Um, our debt service, basically our credit card payment, um, is uh, pushing 10 percent of our of our revenue. And, and most economists will tell you that that and that needs to be closer to three percent. Um, and and so we have you know huge constitutional commitments. Um, whether you agree with it or not. The voters passed uh, Proposition uh, 98 that requires that 40% of the state budget goes to public education um, right off the top. And, and so that is a, a constitutionally obligated commitment. Uh, similar to paying off our credit card debt, that has to be, has to be done. So uh, unless we really change the way we uh, generate revenue and, and, and how we, we allocate it, um, we're going to continue to have this cycle regardless of, uh, you know, of how big of an economy we have. What we've seen is, you know, when productions first move to another state, they take the California crews, but then over time, they start training people in those states to take their own jobs. And you know, people, so then you have the choice, either you go to New Mexico or you go to North Carolina, or you stay here, but now the show you've been working on, the production you've been doing, that's, that's going. And, and, and that is the, the worst case scenario. Um, and, and, you know, the entertainment industry, unfortunately, is, is not alone in, in what we've done. Manufacturing in California is gone, you know, for all intents and purposes. I mean, you want to try to build or, or, or you know, manufacture something in this state, you know, good luck. And, uh, you know, the aerospace industry, already gone. Um, you, know, the, you know, you worry about the next one's going to be the high-tech industry. And uh, if we don't wake up, um, you know, we're going to have a real, real crisis on our hands, even greater than we have now. Right. The average salary leaving California is about $72,000 a year, and the average salary being created, if you will, in California is in the mid-40s. Um, and so you see just that loss of, uh, of, uh, of revenue um, is, a very, is a very scary thing. So that's why you know, we keep working on, on this, and I'm gonna keep working on it as long as I'm in the legislature. Um, not only is it good for my district, but it's good for the entire state of California.